Hello saviors and welcome, my name is Savar24 and today I'm going to be doing another reaction video for you. This time it's going to be about Overwatch. I know I haven't really done anything with Overwatch for quite some time. I kind of got over with playing the game for a while. It's just, I haven't really played the game since they came out with like the, um, the uprising, uh, <laughs> the uprising like, like side game that they came out with, like the little... The little like story based mission thing that you're able to do kind of like with the junk rat junkenstein uh event but um this time around i'm going to be doing a reaction video to the new hero that is being released at doom fest now i again i haven't been playing overwatch for quite some time but i've heard a lot of cool things about doom fest like for one apparently terry cruz is voicing him I have absolutely no idea. I know as of today, he was just released on the PTR, uh, and he seems like he looks pretty cool from what I've seen of him, just the looks uh, that I have seen of him, uh, but I'm not sure as to what his abilities are or anything like that. I'm just kind of curious as to what they have to present us for him, like the, the whole Sombra thing that they did as well. That, that I was curious as about what she was capable of doing, and then when I got around to doing it, it was like, meh. She's okay, but I'm not sure I'd be able to get used to playing her. But Doomfist, who knows? Uh, not that I don't think I would really ever really be able to find out because I really haven't been up to date on it. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and react to the Doomfist origin story. And then we're going to be going to his like uh, abilities list afterwards. So let's see what we got here. 88503. Entertainment. Humanity has always been tested. Conflict and war is the crucible through which we evolve. Uh huh. Wait, really? So the new Doomfist was like a a villainous type character. And he's. He seems. So exposed. Makes us stronger. Oh, dang. Bye, Genji. Jeez, Primal Rage much? <laughs> oh gosh, he ripped off Tracer's teleportation device. Those who fall will be forgotten. Those who rise up, their names will be remembered forever. Oh jeez, so he's a villainous character. Oh, that's interesting. So aside from Reaper, he's the only other assault line character, I do believe. He is like the assault line, isn't he? But geez, he's pretty cool. And he's obviously like playing the part of like the Scourge or whatever. And he's been teased with so many times. From the voice I've heard, he doesn't even really sound that much like Terry Crews. But maybe that's just like editing into the voices or whatever. I'm not sure. So let's see what this one's about. Welcome to another developer update. This is a particularly great one. I think this is the one that you guys have been waiting for. We're here to finally talk about Doomfist. So I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. Is this really? As you guys oh, know, Doomfist really is one of the most anticipated heroes. That yeah, because you guys have been teasing him for quite some hero. time. He hails to us from Nigeria, so he's West African. Mm -hmm. um, one West thing African? you may not have known is that Doomfist is a prominent member of the Talon leadership. Oh, so he is so part of Talon. Contrary to popular belief, Reaper is not the sole leader of Talon. Well, There's I don't think a lot of people that believe of him. Leaders who oversee Talon, and sometimes they agree with each other, sometimes they disagree with each other, and Doomfist is a very important member of that Talon Council. Now, really? Doomfist's ideology is that he wants to see 
humankind become more powerful, and he thinks the way for that to happen is through conflict. So it's kind of a harsh worldview, but he really believes that we as yeah, humans like get he survives through the struggle that we endure. Um, obviously, Overwatch is a world group that's very opposed to conflict and is trying to create peace throughout the world. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, it leads to Doomfist and Overwatch definitely being at odds. With <laughs> yeah, you think? To add to the fact that it was Winston who put Doomfist behind bars in the for first many, place, many years. right? And Doomfist's hatred of Overwatch is at an all time high. Now that Doomfist is free, he plans to use Talon to implement his worldview on the rest of not only Talon, but mankind altogether. So the story is going to get very interesting. Yeah, now very that interesting. Doomfist is in the mix. I think it's going to be awesome that we learn more about Talon through Doomfist and his interaction with heroes like Widowmaker and Reaper. But let's talk about his abilities and what type of hero he is. So Doomfist is in the offensive category. Yeah, he's in he's the assault a very category. tough offensive category type of hero he has a number of he great definitely would seem like an in your face kind of person so probably his most defining ability is his rocket punch by <laughs> default we've bound rocket punch to alternate fire it's a wind-up attack so the longer you hold the button down the more powerful and the farther you you'll go with that rocket punch he uses that huge gauntlet that he has on his right fist to throw the rocket punch. Now, there's a couple of cool things about it. One, you'll go through barriers if you do it. So, if Reinhardt's holding his shield up. Yeah, it that's not going to. It's a physical attack. Reinhardt Nothing physical can be a The other bother. thing that's really cool about rocket punch is it does more damage if you knock a hero back into a wall. So you're really trying to really? line up those exciting billiard shots with other heroes. <laughs> billiard and, shots. And inflict heavy, heavy damage with the rocket punch. Now he has some other abilities he can do as well. He's got an ability called Rising Uppercut, which as you guessed it, is a giant uppercut that leaps him into the air and will knock Kinda like what he did with, Gen with Genji up into the air along with oh, him. Oh, good lord. Now, I can see so much problems with this with ability that. or combo with it really well. Is that is an ability called Seismic Slam. Oh, the way boy. Seismic Slam works is Doomfist gets a targeting reticle whenever he's in the air or has any sort of altitude and he does a giant attack with the backhand of that gauntlet that so it goes up and then slams the down enemy very okay. very briefly not so much stuns him as uh brings them closer to doomfist so it allows him to do a lot more sort of combo abilities uh with that seismic slam it's kind of a, a small cone shape that you'll see um you'll immediately recognize it by the visual effect that we put on the ground when you do the ability is it going to be like a target doomfist also has a primary attack uh, that's a simple uh, gun that he has, which is a shotgun that's loaded into each knuckle of his left fist. And you can that basically fire off of... four shots very quickly, one out of each of his front knuckles on that left fist. That seems um, kind of odd. You can sort of save them up and do them in a more rhythmic fashion. We'll give you a user interface element that lets you know, you know, how many shots does he have in each one of those knuckles um, before he can unload with them. What, is there um, like a recharge rate on these things or something? for Doomfist to primarily use this attack as the main thing that he's doing or where he's getting all of his kills from. Yeah, and that's what it seems fill like. fill in the other space as he's using those really fun dynamic punch mechanics. Now, the thing you're probably wondering and caring the most about is what is Doomfist's ultimate ability? He has one of the funnest ones in the game. Uh -huh. It's called Meteor Strike. When okay. Doomfist Meteor Strike? uses Meteor Strike, he shoots up into the air. He gets an and he becomes a meteor where he slams he down into the ground and just creates the a shockwave. Gauge where he wants to land, and when he commits to it, Doomfist will come crashing out of the sky, stunning and knocking down everybody who's in that in that radius is there any way well to counter that damage seem like there's be any so way to do not that. only might you just kill them outright when you meteor strike on top of them um if not they're immediately laying down and you can use abilities like rocket punch seismic slam etc to do additional damage right Jeez, away. yeah that doesn't so we seem think like doomfist is going to do a lot of flanking and do a lot of diving into enemy teams yeah that's so what it seems to like give he's him a be passive doing. ability to encourage and enable that type of behavior so he has a passive ability called the best defense what this ability does is whenever doomfist lands a punch on somebody 
Doomfist gains a temporary shield. Oh, he gains um, a temporary and the barrier. Can increase, you know, as he's doing more more punches. Over time, the shield will decay and go away. So Doomfist is not permanently shielded by this. So it's a lot like if Lucio's you're really getting buff, in his there, ultimate. Doing a lot of great combo abilities, you'll notice that your survivability is much higher. So this lets Doomfist get in there and rumble a bunch before. So he it's kind of like Reaper out. in the it's sense really he like hard. jumps in, in strikes opponents a heroes. bunch, and can like tank of hits live, a few times. And when he's in serious two, trouble, he can always like punches, jet out. You, you'll stand a chance of surviving because of that passive ability called the best defense. Kind of like Reaper actually, so with his little Doomfist health orbs. Is really going to shake up the lineup. Even more so, we think Doomfist brings tremendous character to Overwatch. He's a really important figure. You've known about him since the announced cinematic where that battle happened over his gauntlet. You've escorted his gauntlet <laughs> yeah, right. Bonnie. It showed up stolen. It showed up Doomfist everywhere. Is very core to Overwatch. We think both his gameplay and his story is going to make the game really great. We hope you have a blast playing him, and we look forward to hearing all of your stories about what you've accomplished with Doomfist. Thank you. Well, that looks like it'll be pretty cool then. I can't wait to... Can't wait to see what Doomfist is capable of. That being said, I'm not sure if I will actually get into playing him. Either way, the situation is still pretty cool. That's uh, not quite what I thought was going to happen, though. I thought I was going to get, like, a play... Uh, like a visual playdown of what it was going to happen. But either way, that was a pretty cool game. And overall... A, a, a pretty cool little intro to what I was ready to see and overall it was really interesting to see to showcase that how he actually works so Doomfist is a definitely get up in your face type of character that relies more on his abilities than he dies on his actual attacks gonna be kind of interesting to see how he's implemented in games in the future but for now I, that's gonna have to be everything i have thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this leave a comment in the section below and i will see you guys in the next episode take care saviors